How has your life changed since living in Saturday? 180 degrees. Yeah. Um, it's more exciting. Everything, everything's better. G'day, Parsettos. Did you know in 2020, there were only two places in Antioquia that sold more homes in 2020 than in 2019? Today, we're gonna to look at one of those places, and that is Sabaneta. I think it's about time for a new, uh, a new second helmet here. Here in Sabaneta, I think the appeal is that it used to be a smaller town, okay. and now... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sabaneta was actually one of the small towns that was connected to Medellin, just like Envigado. It's one step further out than Envigado, uh, so it has those small town vibes, uh, but still, uh, not technically, uh, but geographically part of Medellin, or what people call Medellin. Okay, so we got a 5,000 peso taxi uh, to come up to the hills above Sabaneta. We actually have a friend here who found me through the channel. He's renovated an apartment. Let's take a look. So I bought this two years ago. Perhaps this one had the best view, so. Okay, okay. Beautiful, how many meters? And you get the uh, you get the view of Medellin from the south. As you can see, this is where a lot of the new construction in Sabaneta is happening. And I think having so many new developments coming online is part of the reason why Sabaneta had some of the uh, largest new home sales growth uh, last year during uh, the lockdowns. So you can see Medellin in the distance, Envigado, and we're here in Sabaneta. Envigado and Sabaneta were actually the only parts of Antioquia that saw a growth in new home sales. And right here is the reason why there's a lot of new construction going on up the hills. All right, so who was saying 300 bucks for this memory foam uh, bed and base at Flamingo. Uh, beds can be a bit tricky sometimes to find a good quality one for a good price. So there you go. All right, Ted, you've been out here two years now? Two years. Why seven it? I didn't really want to be in a real public place where there was going to be a lot of English spoken. I moved to Colombia so that I could learn the language and I could learn more about the culture. How would you describe seven eight in three words? Safe, inviting, and adventurous. Every time you go out the door, there's a new adventure. Things okay. that you haven't seen before. People uh, that you didn't know about before. There will be an adventure. This is an adventure for me right now. Yeah. And there yeah. will be more adventures for us before this day is over. Okay. Always it's exciting. So it looks like a lot of the new construction is happening, well, you know, up the hill from the main downtown plaza uh, in Sabaneta. It seems like you've, you've got your more downtown hustle and bustle uh, kind of vibe and up here is more of the relaxed residential yeah. vibe. What are the pros and cons of living up the hill? It's kind of the best of both worlds. So when you want to be part of what's going on downtown and you want to be around people, and I find more and more that I want to be around people. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Qué más? Um, una pregunta. El metro cuadrado como promedio por acá de construcción nuevo aquí en Sarameta. ¿Cuánto es más o menos? Cinco millones. Cinco millones. Construcción nuevo aquí arriba. Sí. Sí. Nice. Gracias. Entare. Chao. What's the name of this? Something fun. Solar punk. Okay. The, the, the symbiosis between technology and nature. So you, you were in Idaho? 
Yeah, I was. I raised my 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 two kids there, who are 23 and 24 now. Okay. And I had to make a decision after they finished college. Yep. Well, what am I going to do? What's the next chapter in my life? Okay. And we all kind of faced those crossroads. And so I traveled and I came to Medellin for the first time, immediately fell in love with it. I had spent some time in Central America before, but there was something foreboding, if you will, or or di more dangerous about South America. And I wanted to come right. here yep. for the longest time and I finally made it. Any regrets? I wish that I had learned more patience when I was younger, but uh, I'm developing that now. You gotta have an answer to that. Sure, you gotta have sure. An answer to Col that. Colombia is a great way, a great place to develop patience. Exactly. I've I've got a theory of why um, Colombia is so magical, and it's there's a lot of uh, resourcefulness based off you know a a, a uh, the situation, and that resourcefulness creates uh, unpredictability, and that unpredictability creates resourcefulness. And that creates more unpredictability, and that creates uh, situations that. Uh, may uh, may need you to develop your patience. Resourcefulness part of it because it's absolutely true. I mean, people sure. here have to scramble in a lot of ways to feed their families, um, to, you know, to take care of the things that they need to in life. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no guarantees. There's a, there's not much of a social safety net down here. Yep. For Colombian people. Yep. So that that uh, that makes the family unit uh, even more important. Uh, and that creates more unpredictability. So I think that's where that magical adventure aspect to um, that so many people describe about Colombia comes from. All right, that's the address of the uh, pretty cool Vivero uh, greenery right here, Sabaneta. I think we're gonna head down into downtown. Ah, mira, Las Flores. Wow, it's incredible. They only, yeah. they only really last for like two days. Yeah. So yeah. there's 5,000 different orchid varieties here in the world. Yeah. I started I'm off a long time ago when I lived with a family in Costa Rica. And the father there, uh, he grew orchids in his backyard and then sold them on the weekends. So I've been doing it for like 25 years. It's just fun to uh, see there's more yeah. growing on the top of that tree. Yeah. Um, it's just fun to be able to go anywhere and to have a hobby where you're where you're looking for something. Absolutely, you know, not just pretty girls. Absolutely. Am I allowed to say that? Or pre pretty buds? I mean, pretty buds <laughs> is also another one, right? Exactly. Bird watching, orchid collecting. Exactly. exactly. I mean, they're great great things to have. And there's more orchids growing up there. Their 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 intentions that bring you more into the moment. It brings you, it makes you more oh, observant yeah. and more appreciative, yeah. and, it, and it, it, it yeah. Amazing. Okay. okay. All right. So we got some uh, some chicken grill. Comes with the soup. Uh, the soup and the and the and the soda. Fifteen thousand pesos. About five bucks. We've also got a cazuela. Casa Polo in Sabaneta. A very 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 recommended lunch menu. Sabaneta Plaza is one of the most charming parts of town. You've got the classic uh, and famous banuelos over there, and then you've got. The leisurely, religious, casually social uh, area of town. Here's one. I've only found three. If you find no. a fourth. Okay. So here's one here. All right. So this running track is new since I was last here. There's also a Restaurante El Viejo John. Uh, very big portions uh, of more typical Colombian food. What? What day in Sabaneta would be complete without a without a coffee and the, uh, and the beautiful Sabaneta uh, surrounds? Um, how has your life changed since living in Sabaneta? 180 degrees. Yeah. Um, it's more exciting. Everything everything's better. Everything is is leveled up. Uh, my tastes have changed. I've changed as a human being. I'm better as a human being. Was there an obstacle to overcome and, and what was that biggest obstacle? When you get roots into a place and then you have to tear those roots up and it's the best thing in the world to do because we've always got to be changing and if we get our roots stuck too deeply into 
one set of soil or ground, then we don't have the flexibility that we need in life to, to continue to grow in the future. And so that's the reason I moved here. Mm -hmm. I think when you move, move cities, you're rethinking your whole root system and it gives you a chance to grow in a completely new direction, maybe a healthier direction, maybe whatever direction you can imagine. I can see the potential lifestyle on 7 8 that this has been a very insightful day. Let's wrap up this vlog in the next scene. Alright, so keep an eye on Sabaneta. Uh, people like Ted have figured out how to set up a pretty, uh, pretty nice lifestyle. I know, uh, I know this. Uh, I know this is something I could definitely get used to. So uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one. And I think uh, La Estrella and Caldas are going to get a lot more attention in the future. Okay, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and tell the algorithm that you'd like to see more videos like this. Uh, my intention on this channel is to focus our attention uh, in new ways of living, in new ideas, in ways that are exploring uh, the balance between the natural and the digital, the advanced and the primitive. Uh, new ways uh, to reimagine how we could live together if we were to really start uh, start from scratch with the tools uh, and the, the abilities that we have right now. So that's what you're going to be seeing more of on this channel. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.